Hi guys, this is Charles. I'm one of the surgeons at South Paws. Uh, I've got a portosystemic shunt that I'm doing today, which is going to be a transjugular ligation uh, using a stent and thrombogenic coils. And so this is the CT scan of the patient. And as I head caudally here, you can see a large vena cava there. You start seeing the aortic root right there. The trachea is sitting there. That's the right outflow tract, uh, so right ventricle, right outflow tract, and that's the aorta coming up right down the middle there. Uh, and then you can kind of get a hint of the aortic valve right there. It's kind of triangular shaped tricuspid valve. Um, and then as we head farther caudal, you can see the left ventricle right there. That's the right ventricle over there. And then heading back, that's the caudal vena cava right in there. Get a little close-up view on that and then we're heading caudally in the uh, uh, the caudal vena cava. The esophagus is sitting there and you start getting a hint of the diaphragm and the liver there. Now as we are about to pass through the diaphragm you see a very large vessel coming into the left side of the vena cava. Uh, so that's a very large anomalous vessel, gallbladder sitting there. That vessel, as you go farther caudal, you can see it looping around here and then joins with the portal vein right there. That's all food in the stomach. It is a Labrador, so you can expect that there's pretty much always going to be food in the stomach. That's the caudal vena cava there. So heading back, portal vein, I'm going to head back cranially again and just trace that portal vein right there as it loops around and then comes into the left side of the vena cava. So really big intrahepatic shunt sitting right there. Now as we head farther caudal, just a few other structures to point out. That's getting into colon right there. Uh, that's the right kidney there. And then the left kidney, which is farther caudal there. Uh, left renal pelvis. Uh, that's left ureter sitting right there, and you can trace it all the way back to the point that it goes into the bladder. So I'm going to do a quick 3D volume rendering. Um, and so this is, let me just turn down the brightness here. Maybe not. Anyway, so I'm just going to crop out some of the bones and things out of the way so we can see the shunt a little bit better. Um, so looking closely here, you can see the caudal vena cava right there, and then you can see the shunt coming into the side right there and then looping around like that. So it's important for me to get an understanding of what that anatomy is so that when I try to put coils in, um, put the catheter in and put the coils in, it's easier for me to, um, to determine what direction the catheter should be going and that kind of thing. So that's the shunt sitting right there. And we're going to be doing coil embolization in just a few minutes. I'm not live streaming that um, procedure. Um, I don't have consent from the owners. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching and we will see you again soon.